So like last week, my brother reached out to me that his friend was uh, looking for a job. And normally if you know anything about Finland, I mean, we don't really have that much job. And for students, like the easiest job you can get is like maybe a cleaning job and <clears throat> uh, cleaning, dishwashing and things like that. And even that in recent times, it's become really... Um, difficult to secure like a cleaning job so when my brother told me his friend was looking for a job uh, a few months ago i referred him to one cleaning job that i knew and apparently they went there and then now the cleaning job doesn't allow people to like come in unless by appointment so fast forward to last week my brother reached out to me again that this said friend is still looking for a job so i went online i just uh input something in and i saw like there were some jobs recently posted cleaning job that he could apply for i told my brother to send the guy's cv uh because my my plan was like okay maybe i'll just help him do some application and i reached out to a friend that i know like she has like a mini cleaning company uh, because, and also because I had heard like in recent, like maybe about a month ago, I heard like one of our workers wasn't uh, performing as expected. So I just reached out to her like, ah, uh, uh, if you still need, if you're looking for somebody, uh, I have somebody that needs a job and things like that. Then she told me that, ah, oh, she's so sorry. She just employed somebody like two weeks ago. And I think that was like what really made me uh what put me in my feelings and that's even the reason for this video so i reached out to my brother and i was talking to him on the phone like your friend needs a job well somebody just told me that she offered someone a job like two weeks ago so how bad like does your friend really want this job because i expect that if you want this job then you go all, all out to apply now the remember i said i referred uh them to a particular cleaning company so i asked my brother okay when you left this cleaning company where else did you go because in that uh vicinity there were like two or three other cleaning companies apparently they left the one i referred them to and they just went back home and i was saying my brother that your friend does not want this job bad enough because the truth is one the 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 chances of getting a job is slim you have to put in everything you have to look for this job that you actually think you are just like I, I, one i was dis disappointed so i was kind of irritated like how do you just go to one place when there are other places so basically your friend needs a job but is actually not looking because trust me somebody that is looking for a job especially when you know okay it's a cleaning job that you're looking for you will visit all the cleaning job all the all the cleaning companies available now you went to one no mind you that there are two others not doing your research that like two other companies around that place then my brother was like uh you know how discouraging it is when you apply and you don't get a positive feedback i'm like wow so let's let me understand this if i apply for a job and i don't get a positive feedback the best option is to quit applying is that what you're saying so how does that bring me close to the job that I want? And I had to use myself as an example because it seemed like, oh, if you have a job, you're just lucky. If there's anything I've learned in recent years is that when it comes to job market, forget whatever the job is, whether it's a mini job, whether it's a blue collar, a white collar job. You have to, like, you have to, 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 to put in your best. You have to, how do I say for, for lack of better words, you have to be desperate enough for that job. Now, we're in a place where there are not so many jobs. And even the jobs available, the native things are considered first. So basically, being a foreigner, you're already at, at a disadvantage. Now, you want to come up with the excuse of, oh, you applied and you got the negative feedback. So that's why you quit applying. I was telling my brother about my current job. If anybody wants to talk about getting rejection letter like being a pro in getting rejection letter then it should be me but here the, the, 
the, the, the, the, the truth is, if I get a rejection letter and I say, okay, I'm no longer applying, does that bring me closer to the goal of getting a job? Like, I'm trying to understand his reasoning. Uh, it's going, it's, of course, it affects your mental state. Yes. Yes. And that's why I'm telling you I'm using myself as an example. But here is the truth. What is the goal? The goal is to get a job. You're not going to get a job by sitting in your room. You're not going to get, you're not going to get a job by applying for one and then expecting to get it because you're woo. Because you're woo, exactly. Also, one thing I've learned about getting jobs is that the earlier you apply, like if they post a job like now, the earlier you apply for that job, the higher your chances of even being considered for an interview, regardless of whatever the job is. Because even the recruiters, like they don't have all the time in the world to wait till the deadline of the of the application. So basically, as um as an applicant, your job is to stay fixed on, on on websites where they post where they post these um open applications and not focusing on oh the rejections yes the rejections will come yeah some people are lucky some people are at the advantage of maybe applying for one job and getting it but when you know that the luck is not on your side you don't have the home advantage of maybe being a native thing then you don't have any excuse now it's time to quit that excuse and this is where this is what i mean like the excuse of oh it's the, the the rejections are affecting me mentally it's time to quit it it's just time to quit it's time to even quit thinking about quitting your job application until you get your job you keep applying until you get the job you want you you, you keep applying so one thing to quit is slacking if there's anything you should take from this message for you it might not be a job that you're looking for it might be maybe um, a course you're trying to study for and it seems so hard and you're just thinking about quitting the course no what you're going to quit is the thought of quitting you're going to quit the thought of oh giving up like okay i i can't do this no it might look like things come easy to maybe the people succeeding around you but trust me when you sit people down i can bet it with you like let's say 75 percent when you sit the successful people around you down 75 percent will tell you like they are to give it all they had they are to go all out to get what they what they have so you're now saying that oh you want to quit or you feel that is easy for others because people don't come out to actually share or give you like the full lowdown or how, of how they got to what they have how they got to where they are thinking it's easy that's that's that that's, that's uh, uh, you're living in like a, a, a fool's what do they call it now is it a fool's dream or something like that so today you're going to quit the thought of giving up and this applies to me as well when it comes to like this youtube channel maybe i've actually thought about let me just quit like the the watch hours are not coming but quitting is not going to give me the watch hours that i want so i tell myself what i'm going to quit is the thought of quitting my, my, my pursuits to be um, a monetized youtuber so whatever it is you're, you're going to quit that thought that um idea that oh maybe it's easier for someone else and this is not just for you so you're going to quit no i want you to quit the thought of quitting if that makes any sense to you it's, it's not time yet if i it is too late it is too late to quit now it's time to go all in and put in like put in your best do your best and trust me your best to be rewarded see you in my next work with me video bye